Hello friends, it's Peg. I am still traveling and I thought I would do a little early morning sketch and watercolor maybe. Um, started sketching with a pencil, but I think I want to add some ink. This is a Uniball Pilot. I think this is permanent, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this and just hope I am correct in my thinking about it being a permanent black pen. And get my, some of my line drawing on here. Not all of it, you know, I'll come back and do some more stuff later, but um, I kind of wanted some guidelines here for what I was doing. It's still the holiday season. I'm still doing my uh, December departures. This is a departure from what I normally do on my channel. I usually have a lot more mixed media, but um, I'm practicing. I, you know, when you travel, you can't take everything with you. And so I'm kind of practicing my watercolor as I travel here because it's a one of those easily packed kind of uh, products that, you know, you can put a number of these things in to a bag and getting some foliage here. I want to do some pine bough, like down here maybe do some piney stuff. And I'll come back and add some more to this. But you guys are getting the idea of what I'm doing here. I want to, let's see, I want to add some um, pine cone in here. So I'll put a few pine cone in there. And then, you know, I'll, I'll continue to fill in with, um, you know, branches and things as I see fit on this particular drawing. Let's get another piney bough going up this way. And because I've got the pencil drawing in there, I'm going to take my eraser and get rid of some of that lead pencil stuff in there. I'm just going to use what we just sketched in the pen. This is an easy way to get things started. Okay. So now I'm going to get my paper because I want something to dab off onto. I've got my two palettes that I was using the other day. These are, who are these? These are Prima color palettes, Woodland and Pastel. And the Pastel has this um, kind of bright red. I'm going to... I haven't used this mid-size brush yet out of my grouping, so I think I'm gonna, gonna do that. And I'm going to, let's see, I wanna wet some of these areas on my candy cane. so I can drop some color in. And these just screw together, remember. These travel brushes are really nice, they're protected well. And now I'm gonna try picking up some of that crimson sort of color. 
looks kind of like a candy cane red. It is called crimson. Okay, so I get a good concentration of that. I'll start adding some of that color into our candy cane. to the edges there. I can't see what I'm videotaping right now because I've got my phone overhead and I hope I'm giving you guys a good shot. I apologize for anything that isn't great because like I said, I'm on the road traveling and I don't always get the best stuff here using this equipment and natural daylight. I'm sitting in front of a window so I'm hoping that the natural daylight will be enough to get a good image. But I like that crimson. As that dries down, we may end up adding more, but um, let me get my small brush. This is the smallest of the three brushes that are in that set. And I'm going to take off some excess. I just want to put some lines in here. Some stripes on my candy cane. Just like that. That's pretty cute. Pretty cute little candy cane. Okay, so next, I'm gonna drop in some greens. So let's start with one of our lightest colors here. Um, this one is kind of a yellowy green. Mix that with some color I've got here. And let's just start adding some greenery in behind here. Oops, hit my cord. I think I wanna add some water. I'll clean out my brush. Get that red out of there, cause that's gonna kind of a hot mess. And let me get a wash going here with this color. I hit that red anyway and started spreading it, but that's all right. This is just a practice page. some color there in the background. And actually, I like the way that's blending out a little bit. That's not bad. Pull back some of that color. Add a little more a kind of a shadow effect here. I also want to drop in a brown. Let's see. Um, 
a light, I'm gonna do a lighter brown to start with. These are our pine cones, remember? I'm gonna drop in that brown. I'd actually get a little bit of splatter action with that brown too. Yeah. Okay, so now we need some darker greens, don't we? So let me look over here in this other palette that's a little bit deeper. I'm gonna pick up this green. this way with this too. Add some up here. Now, this is still pretty wet. some of that other green in there. Get some going out this way. line right there. <clears throat> so I'm going to move some of that green and fade it out a bit with some dirty water. Okay, yeah, so now let's go back to our fine liner, finer brush and pick up a darker brown. I, need, I really need a liner brush here, but I don't have one. So, and let's add quite a bit darker tone to that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Kind of a walnut, maybe? Does that look right to you guys? A walnut, sort of? But that's... Gotta get the... What do they call those? They're not petals. <laughs> what do they call those things on pine cones? I don't know. You guys will have to tell me in the comments. I'm sure I probably knew at one time because, you know, my mother was this naturalist kind of chick that would take us out in the woods and point out everything and say, now this is 
And this is, so I learned all kinds of wild plants when I was young, you know, bloodroot and columbine and um, what was it? Um, anemones and um, I'm trying to think is Dutchman's britches. I loved Dutchman's britches. Do you guys know what those are? Look them up on Google if you haven't seen them before. Dutchman's britches. Uh, when I was out walking in the woods, everybody told me, oh, you can't take, you can't take wildflowers and plant them in your own garden. Well, you know, I don't believe any of that. I think that I can grow just about anything that I want to grow, and I did. And so I very carefully dug some roots of things like bloodroot and Dutchman's britches and um, a number of different wildflowers, uh, may apples, um, and took them home and planted them in a bed that I had prepared for them. Um, and they thrived and each spring I would know exactly what was going on out in the woods because I had my harbinger of spring right there uh, with those plants that were growing in my garden. So I think I want a little bit of that dark as a shadow here. Oh, there's a fly in here. I I went to the store thinking I could get a swatter and didn't get one. So I've still got this creature here to contend with. I wish he'd just go to the back door and I'd let him out. <laughs> go away. Go bug somebody else, you know. But um, he's not doing that. He's sticking around here. So... Add some more of that red in there. Get a little depth. On the edge here. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of that dark. There we go. See, this is real pale right here. I want a little more color than that, so I'm adding another layer to get a little more depth. This is fun. I haven't spent time doing this kind of thing for a while. Just relaxing, getting out my journal and having a play day. Need some more on the end here. It's not dark enough. Get a little more depth on that. And then let's go back, clean out my clean out my brush. Go back and get some dark green, some real foresty dark. Yeah, that's a nice green. So let's do some of that up this way. fill in some of these leaves on this fronds. This is almost like a, what do they call that? Palm frond or something? I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of those down here in the south. But um, add a little more 
depth here. I keep hitting my cord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that jiggled you. Didn't intend for that at all. But I have to reach around the cord to get to my paint pan. Okay, so this needs to be dry so that I can come back and put some more definition on here. So let's give it a few. Okay, so I've got several options for pens. This is not quite all the way dry yet. So I should probably test to see what I want to use here. I've got, got just some watercolor paper here and a pad. So let me get a piece of that. This is going to be my test paper. And this is the pen that I started out with. This is the Pilot. And it is very fine. Gives me this really nice fine line. This is a Foodie Ball 1.5. And it's much darker and thicker line. Those are options. This one is a Jane Davenport brush tip. And it acts very much like a brush tip. Okay. Then I also have, this is a fine tip Posca. I should have some finer tip ones. Anyway, this is a Uni Posca PC1M. <clears throat> so those are some options. What else do I have in my bag? See, I have a bag of stuff like this that I bring with me. And of course I have my pencil. I have a Sharpie. What else do I have in here? Oh, I might want some white splatter. Yeah, I think that's about it. I didn't bring a whole lot with me. The Sharpie. Mm. The Sharpie works really well on this surface. Um, almost as the same as the Posca. A little thicker than some things I might like, but I think I might just start with that because you know, I don't want to ruin a pen on something that's still damp. So let's just start with that. And I'm going to do some more sketchily things here. You know, I like, I like the illustration type thing on here. So I'm going to add some line work. And not definitive for everything, but um, I just think it adds a little something. You 
you know, if you don't like it, if you're pure watercolorist, then don't add this stuff. Um, I happen to like a little line work and some, you know, a little bit of hash work. Um, to me, it just helps in the overall. So, let's see, got our, our pine cone here, put a little more definition in on some of these, whatever they are, <laughs> that you're going to tell me what they are uh, on my pine cone. I was thinking about pine cones. I was thinking about pine nuts, actually. I was thinking about making a salad with some pine nuts. Do you guys like pine nuts? I like all kinds of nuts. Anyway, so I'm going to darken up in between these a little bit here. Yeah. And then. Just very sketchily drawn in some of this foliage in here. Get our Piney bow and more piney bow. And some more of the leaves. These are more like a holly or berry leaf in here. This side with our uh, this is you know just very fast, very free flowing. Don't have to think a lot about it. Some of those are going to go off in another direction. And it looks like looks like I need something in here. It's kind of bare there. that I think that's good for today so what do we want to say today um, what do we want to say Say love and peace. Mm. 
love and peace come to you. And let's get our splatters. See if I can get this thing going. something else I can use. There we go. I've got a... Oops. I've got a distress crayon here. So if I put a little bit of that out and get my water brush, wherever it is, here's a water brush up some of that Distress Crayon. Come on. There we go. Got some splatter. little mist is all I want. But I think it adds something. And get that off of my book. I also wanted some white. Let's see if I can get some white Posca out here. I have to see if I can find a um, craft or art store in the area. Kind of like snow. I'd like to get some snowy effects. Yeah. So that's it for today's December departure from the norm. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you're playing along. Bye for now.